Uh, I feel good. You know, I'm at home now. Um, I'm in a place where I'm comfortable. I'm surrounded by people that I know. Um, and I thought I did pretty good. I was very pleased with the way I performed and, and I was very pleased with how we all performed you know, as a whole. I think we all out there represented uh, Notre Dame the way it should. Uh, essentially a job interview, for lack of a better term. <laughs> how, did, how did you approach it that way? I think I, I kind of didn't think of it that way. Uh, I think when you start thinking of it, you know, it adds pressure. You know, pressure that you don't need at this time. So I just thought of it as an opportunity for me to go out there, run, um, show what I got, and show what I can do. And you know, that's exactly what I did. Manti over here, um, do you know what your times were in the 40? Uh, I heard, you know, four sevens, um, low four sevens. I heard my fastest time at somebody clock was a four six nine. So um, I don't really know for sure what was printed. Um, but that's what um, they showed me. And how do you feel about that? I mean, is that what you expected? Oh, uh, you know, I, 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 I just expected me to run fast, you know, run faster than I ran at the combine, and uh, that's exactly what I did. And did you train any differently in the interim between the combine and now? Yeah, I think, you know, I was pleased with the way I, I performed in the 5 and the L cone at the combine, so I didn't have to, you know, work on that you know, during my training. So uh, a lot of that time that I usually would dedicate to those two drills, I just put an overtime on the 40. Man, Doc, you talk a little bit about, oh, right here. Um, w w w do you have any um, planned visits with NFL teams? And if so, what teams are you meeting with? Uh, I, I know I have. I'm not really sure who I have. Um, that's something I have to talk with my agent about. Um, but, you know, I know I have a, a couple visits I got to go on. Have you met with any? Have you had any interviews yet with any of them? Uh, I had a I had a lot at uh, the combine. I met with twenty teams. Can you tell us what they're what they're asking about and how much of that goes back to you know what happened in January? I mean, everybody wants to know. Uh, everybody wants a brief. You know, some guys just wanted a brief minute. Uh, what happened? Um, you know, some guys you know went in into a little bit more depth. Um, but overall, it's Great opportunity, great experience. Uh, it went better than I expected, um, so you know, it was good. Is there one area they focus on with, when they ask about that? Just or, or what do you what do you want to what do you try to tell them when they ask you about it? What, what's your main objective in talking about it? Well, just let's focus on football. You know, I think that's it. That was my message. You know, um, I'm a football player. Um, I made mistakes, but you know, nothing that affected my play on the football field. Manti, you know, the pro day is like a second chance opportunity. You can improve on stuff that you didn't do well at the combine. Do you feel like you did that today? Yeah, I definitely did. You know, I felt, I felt good. Uh, and it was, it was kind of like, it was just a grand finale kind of thing, you know, with everybody there. You know, I had, I had guys around me that, you know, I spent the last four years with um, that I was comfortable with. And, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was more comfortable being out here and, and, and you know, performing here at Notre Dame, and so you know, I was very pleased with that, what happened. It's not really a sit back and wait time. I mean, obviously, you'll have your individual workouts with teams still coming. And... Eifert, come on. <laughs> Sorry. Tyler Eifert, everybody. <laughs> you'll have your individual and uh, interviews and things of that nature, but how pleased are you now just to be to the point where you can kind of sit back and wait until late <laughs> April for the draft? I think you know, if you ask anybody um, who's, go who's going through this process, this is the possibly the best day um, ever. Uh, you, you, it's a big, big burden off your shoulders, and you know, you, it just feels like it was your birthday. And so, uh, you know, it's, I'm I'm very glad that it's over. And obviously, yeah, like you said, it's not a waiting game. You, you got to perform. You know, this is when you got to kick it into overdrive. And so, you know, but we're definitely, um, you know, pleased and, and very happy that this is this process is done. How much of a dream come true will it just be when your name is called, though? Uh, it's definitely a dream come true. I think, you know, if you, when, you, when you start playing football and at the age where you decide, man, I, I really want to do this you know, for a living, um, that's the draft day is a, the day that you, you, you dream of. And uh, obviously when that, when that happens, you know, I'm going to be very happy uh, that I got to spend it with my family and uh, that we finally made it. And that's just the first step to a very, very long journey. Uh, for both of you, how frustrating is it that 
four years of football kind of gets pushed back into the background and so much emphasis is placed on you running around in shorts out here and not <laughs> Saturday afternoons. Um, I mean, it, it seems that way and it gets hyped up that way with, um, you know, things on TV and the combine. But at the end of the day, you know, it is your film that they that really matters. Um, you know, so people that have been doing this for a while remind us of that, you know, it kind of takes some of the pressure off that, you know, that it's not make or break if you don't do well at the combine or at the pro day. You've already, you know, you've shown what you can do on tape and that's what that's what really matters. Ditto. Yeah, you. same thing. You know, it's, 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 it's what you do on tape. Um, you know, we play football with a helmet on, with shoulder pads. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, all these tests, um, it's something you want to do well at. Um, it's not something that, you know, you just want to say, oh, you know, watch my tape. You know, it's whenever you, you're competing out there, uh, you, want, you want to do well at. And, uh, you know, when you do, it's, you know, a big accomplishment. And if you don't, it motivates you um, to, you know, just improve. And so, um, although these, these, you know, drills that we do, these, you know, tests that we do, it's, it's frustrating. Uh, it, it's a great learning opportunity and a great way for us to just go out there and compete. All right. Lastly, for Tyler, everybody uh, that does a mock draft or, or analyzes a draft says you're a lock to be a first-round pick. Why would you participate in something like this today? Um, you know, I have, like, my agent and people that are giving me advice, like uh, like Tim McDonald here and other other people that, you know, that's just that was what I was advised to do, um, you know, run routes. Um, you know, I, didn't, I never even thought that I – wouldn't run routes. I mean, that's just something I, I work on. That's what I do a lot. So I had no problem going out there and uh, run around a little bit. Tyler, it was a nice coming to knowing that you didn't have to worry about you know forty times or, or anything like that. Yeah, it was it was a relief. I mean, at the combine, um, I don't know I don't know how how I looked on the outside, but I mean I was I was nervous. You know, it's a stressful period, and uh, you know you got you got a lot on the line there. So. Um, you know, I was, I was happy to have that over. I could just focus on more football-specific drills, getting ready for pro day, um, which is what I've grown up doing instead of those, you know, all the sprinter, you know, getting ready for a track meet. Hey, Manti, over here. Over here. Um, are you hearing anything about where you might be selected? No. Um, I'm not hearing. I don't think any of us know where we're going. Um, we just hope that we're going somewhere. Um, but, yeah, definitely, no, I don't know. I haven't heard of where I'm going. And you said that when you um, were at the Combine and you met with teams, you said it, you just said it here that you felt like it went better than expected yeah. talking about the stuff. What were you expecting? Oh, well, you know, whenever you go, you know, into those kind of environments, um, you know, you hear the horror stories, you know, from guys who came from, you know, you hear about how guys left the room and just like, man, that was – that was a grilling session, and so you know, as a as a young young guy, uh, you go in there expecting the worst, um, you know. And so for me, I was nervous, you know. I was like, oh my gosh, like these guys are gonna get after me. Um, but the guys, you know, they they were, you know, it was nice. It was professional, um, and you know, they they listened to what I had to say, and uh, it was done. And so you know, it was something that I was very, you know, happy. Uh, I'm very happy the way it, it turned out. Do you feel like that whole thing is? Miles in the rearview mirror. Oh, for me it is. Um, I think for me, I'm just glad that I'm out here playing football. I'm back home. Um, I'm with my guys I'm around this building, and so you know that stuff you know, is is long gone. Manti, general, how closely do you follow what NFL teams are doing in the off season in terms of free agency or or cutting players? And specifically, did you have a reaction when the Bears parted ways with Brian Urlacher? Uh, you know, I saw that on a ticker when I was playing Madden 2013. Um, and I was just like, that's crazy. Um, but, you know, I, I don't really pay attention to that stuff. Uh, I just let teams do, do what they do, and I do what I can do. Um, um, but, yeah, definitely, you know, I wasn't, I, I wasn't too sure how to, ha to, you know, respond to what happened. And I was just like, oh, wow. That's that's very sad. And in in all your dealings with uh, with the teams and feedback from your agent, how comfortable are you that the intangibles that were always considered a strength of yours will be you know considered a strength when teams 
evaluate whether or not to draft you in April? Oh uh, yeah, I'm very very confident, um, and I'm not sure how teams are going to evaluate me, but uh, like how I was saying, um, it's it's about your film. Uh, you know, they they see they've seen what I could do on the football field, um, and uh, you know, obviously you know that's where I'm comfortable uh, with you know just find ball, hit ball, and make plays. Uh, so that's that's what I'm going to improve on, and I'm glad that this this is over, um, and that you know all of us can focus on you know just preparing to play football now. Manti yeah. and T uh, Tyler, you guys are both considered uh, first round draft picks, so it's pretty high regard. Uh, that analysts hold you at. Uh, what aspects of your game do you guys feel like you work to improve upon every day going through this process? Uh, for me, it's pretty much what everyone else says, just my strength, my blocking. Um, and obviously, I, I work to improve on everything. Catching the ball, I, I've dropped passes before. So, you know, always working on my hands. Uh, you know, I work on everything, but the, but the one thing is um, my blocking, just getting bigger and stronger, putting on a little weight and uh, get better at that. Yeah, I think uh, for me, uh, obviously, you know, you can, you can always get better. Um, but the one uh, area that I like to improve on is um, getting off of blocks, you know, using my hands. Um, and once I, you know, improve on that aspect of my game, um, I think you know, there will be more production out of my play. Um, but definitely I use my hands and, and getting off of blocks. Do either of you have plans to go to New York to be there in front of the cameras? Uh, no, I'll be at home. Same. Over to your left, um, you know, everyone pays attention to the 40 times and stuff. But what about the specifically the, the positional drills for both of you? I mean, how did you feel you performed in those? Uh, Tyler first. I felt felt good in those, felt comfortable. Um, you know, that's that's the thing. That those are the things that I feel most comfortable doing, you know, on the field, things I've been doing since I was little. And, uh, you know, I thought I thought I did well, ran, ran good routes, caught the football. And, uh, you know, showed explosion getting up the field. And were the depths different than what you were running here typically, or were they a little different? Or um, Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a little different, but they're all, um, I mean, they're things that I've been working on that we've been kind of prepped on the NFL routes, how they're different, maybe different depths, how they're ran. So uh, those are things that I've been, I've had plenty of time to be working on.